Tomas Schäfer has been the chairman of the board at Škoda Auto in Mladá Boleslav since August 2020. So good morning, Mr. Schäfer. Nice. I would like to welcome you first here in our premises with a lovely view behind you. Mm -hmm. And you had a lecture this morning uh, with our students. So could you tell us please uh, the topic uh, was lecture about? Yeah, so um, the topic this morning was um, about Škoda, a little bit of history, but then also about our strategy, no? moving forward, how do we want to keep Škoda relevant um, for the next decades? No? And, and uh, very specifically, we also touched on emerging markets, no? which is part of Škoda's uh, explore uh, element of the strategy. And based on your lecture, uh, how do students react to your speech and what benefits do you think has the topic for students? I, I think the benefit is in um, broadening the mindset no? and uh, you know, that's why I specifically chose the, the emerging market aspect to dive in a little deeper because you know, everybody is so focused on the industry transformation that we're in in Europe no, within electrification, digitalization, and so on. But there are billions of people around the world that um, will not have the speed of transformation or maybe no transformation at all for a while. And it is worthwhile understanding the total picture. No? So that's why I thought today, talking about it, giving, on the one hand, giving the students hopefully a sense of um, it's, it is Skoda's. Um, destiny to do that, but at the same time also we have a good plan for the future. No? So, I mean, Škoda is relevant in Czech Republic uh, and uh, you want to see that a company like ours uh, has a good plan for the future. So, do you remember a story, a funny story, uh, from the time of your studies? I must say, I, I often, um, during studies, no, you're, you're often battle to, to get the big picture. You, know, you, know, you, you, you learn something and you know, okay, you know, it's about you know, hydromechanics or some, some detail, but how does it all fit together? Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was funny that you know, a similar situation like today, where, where I spoke to the students, we had a, a person at the time, I think he was from Bosch or ABB uh, coming, uh, also a business person, uh, to, to talk to us about some topic. I can't remember what it was, but it was like this aha moment that it all fitted together. No? So like we had been studying from, from, I don't know, two years and whatever, whatever, no? and then the guy comes in and gives us some guy, he was not a professor, so he gave us this insight and I'm like, oh, now it all makes sense. <laughs> so I think this, you know, industry connecting with uh, academia, coming in and having this engagement is very valuable. No? It gives you a different aspect of, uh, of knowledge that might help you, you know, grow in your career. You are the CEO of Škoda Auto. And I'm interested in how do you release your stress or what do you like doing in your free time? I could say which stress, no, no. but anyway, no, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there, sure there is stress and you, know, you never have enough time no, for, for everything. The whole day usually feels like um, the police is pursuing you. There's always, you know, something burning. But um, I, I do two things uh, absolutely regularly. One, um, I, I get up early and, and do sport. I usually run. Running helps me to get a clear head. Um, I do it in absolute silence. I, I cannot, I, I, if I would run with like earphones on, I think I would have an over sensory <laughs> explosion. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I take, specifically take time for about 10 minutes or so just to, you know, not meditate in a sense, but to, to sort of structure my day and, and, you know, just come down. Mm -hmm. Usually at the end of the day, just to, you know, reflect a bit on it and, plan ahead for the next day, helps me to, to get grounded a bit more. Otherwise you can, I could work 24 seven, of course, you know, you can, you know, there's always enough to, to bother you. It never ends, but you have to find that, that, that personal balance that, that you can still perform at, at a good level. Uh, I don't believe that you can sleep three hours a day and then uh, still perform at 100%. This is not possible. So the sport and reflection helps me. Thank you very much for your time and for your answer and we are looking forward to see you hopefully soon.
Yeah, it's a great pleasure. I'm glad to, you know, you know, contribute a little bit to this amazing institution. Uh, I believe it's a great pillar of our um, growing our talent for the future and contributing also to the wider economy here. No? So I, I really think we need to push strong and give people a perspective no? and, and what, what challenges lie out there and how best can they shape their career to contribute to the future. So I like it. Thank you for doing all that. Thank you.